why don't we take a look at the quick overview of iTree Canopy. The first thing we do is access our iTree tools here at www.itreetools.org and that will bring us up to our home page where it describes uh, components of iTree. In order to uh, reach the uh, iTree Canopy application, what we do is we simply go to the Applications button and pull down and open up to iTree Canopy. When we open up iTree Canopy, we're going to see the initial page which details and it goes through some of the uh, little overview of some screenshots here of the various components of iTree. iTree Canopy offers a quick and easy way to produce uh, statistically valid estimates of land cover types, for example, tree cover or impervious materials, shrub layers, um, using aerial images available from Google Maps. And the canopy can be used by urban forestry managers to estimate the tree canopy cover. We can set tree, uh, tree canopy goals and monitor changes over time. And it can also be used to estimate um, inputs for use in other applications within iTree, including iTree Hydro and other uh, um, programs where land cover classification data is needed. Um, the tool is designed to allow users to easily and accurately estimate tree cover and other cover classes uh, within any defined area or within city limits or any, any, any location that they want to delineate. Um, the tool randomly lays points and the number of these uh, points are determined by the user. Uh, these points are randomly laid over a Google Earth imagery and then the user classifies where each of these points uh, lands based on the series of classifications that they have set up in their preliminary work. Um, and what the idea is that you interpret from point to point to point whether you have, uh, you know, a trees or impervious material, shrub layer, grass layer, uh, paving, all these various components. And the point of it is in the analysis, you set the analysis up to work uh, the way that best fits your needs. So the first thing you do is you delineate your uh, study area and many times that's a geographical area. In most cases we're looking at city or town so you have the municipal boundaries. So we uh, either import that data from a GIS shapefile or we create our own using the Google imagery. And once we've defined our study area then we go ahead and we define our cover class areas or the cover classifications that we intend to use for our study, whether that be trees or grass or buildings, non-tree areas and others. And it defaults to have tree and non-tree, but we can put in as many variables as we want for the classifications. And then the third step is just to start classifying the point locations in the randomly selected locations that are picked by the uh, iTree Canopy software using the Google Earth and Google Maps imagery. So the idea is that one point is selected, we pull down our drop down list and we go to um, its classification and we move to our next point. And we repeat that process until we've completed um, the most points uh, that we need for the project. Um, the more points that are interpreted, the more accurate the estimate. So we'll go into some of the details in our other videos on this, but I wanted to give you a quick overview of the uh, intent and the goals of iTree Canopy offering you this uh, quick and easy way to produce these statistically valid estimates of land cover types in a community or a, geo a defined geographic area.